Hey guys, so um, you guys know our school year is almost over. Um, you guys are gonna be first graders soon and I am just so proud of you um, and all the hard work that you've done this year. I know it's been kind of hard doing school from home too, especially, and you guys have just been so amazing, uh, working so hard and I am so, so proud of you. Um, and so today, because I wanted to read this book with you, um, it's called Graduation Day, and it's a Clifford book. Um, it's published by Scholastic, and it's by Danielle Denega. Um, and I wanted to read this book to you guys because you're going to be kindergarten graduates. You're going to graduate kindergarten, which means you're going to be finished with kindergarten. You're going to be moving on to first grade. Um, and I'm so proud of you guys. And so I wanted to just read um, a fun book today about that. Um, and so <clears throat> so that we can get ready. The, the next books I'm going to read are going to be... Um, all fun books just about that kind of stuff. We're going to do some reading and writing about them. And so this is Clifford's Graduation Day. Um, and so get ready to listen to this story. Ready? Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap and put them in your lap. And we'll read Graduation Day. The Howard family loved their little red puppy. But Clifford was making mischief. Clifford tried to run away in the park. Then Clifford sneaked food from the table. Clifford knocked over the trash can and chewed up Mr. Howard's best shoes. Emily Elizabeth told Clifford, you need to go to puppy school. <clears throat> Clifford was worried at first. But puppy school was fun. When the puppy trainer told Clifford to sit, Clifford rolled around on his back. Down, the puppy trainer said to Clifford, but Clifford tore up the grass. Come, the puppy trainer called to Clifford. He chased the butterfly instead. Clifford was not a very good student. He's not being a good listener to his teacher. Clifford needs practice, Mr. Howard explained to Emily Elizabeth. Can you help him? Will I have time to learn my words from the spelling bee and help Clifford with his puppy school commands? Emily Elizabeth wondered. So she's gonna have to help him do some homework at home for some extra practice. Many of your spelling words are the same commands Clifford has to learn, Mrs. Howard said, holding up one of Emily Elizabeth's flashcards. Maybe you and Clifford can help each other. That's a great idea, Emily Elizabeth said. Okay, Clifford, you are going to graduate from puppy school, and I am going to win my school spelling bee, Emily Elizabeth said. But we have to work together. She's helping him, and he's going to help her learn how to spell her words. Emily Elizabeth read her flashcard aloud. Sit. S-I-T. And then she showed Clifford how to sit. And he sat. Good boy, Clifford, Emily Elizabeth said. Emily Elizabeth read another flashcard. Down. D-O-W-N. Then she showed Clifford how to lie down, and he did it. Great job, Emily Elizabeth shouted. This time, when the puppy trainer told Clifford to sit, he sat right at her feet. When the puppy trainer said, down, Clifford laid down on his belly. Clifford looked at Emily Elizabeth and wagged his tail. He would graduate from puppy school after all. So he worked really hard. Emily Elizabeth was so proud of Clifford, but she was still nervous about her spelling bee. She didn't need to worry. With Clifford's help, she had learned all her words and won. Thank you, Clifford. I couldn't have done it without you, Emily Elizabeth whispered. Clifford licked her nose and thought the same thing. The end. So just like Emily Elizabeth was so proud of Clifford for working hard, and Clifford was so proud of Emily Elizabeth for working hard. 
I'm so proud of you guys for how hard you've been working in school and I'm so proud that you are gonna graduate kindergarten and go to first grade. Um, all right guys, bye.